As the terrible news out of Japan has reminded us, natural disasters can hit us anytime without warning. That's why I thought it'd be a good idea to take a look at some technology solutions that might just save your life in an emergency. This is the famous wind-up radio, or at least the latest edition of it. It's made by a company called Eaton. It's called the Rover. Here's your antenna, here's your tuning dial, and here's your crank. This one's really remarkably efficient. I cranked it for five minutes, and I had two hours of radio listening time. And of course, you've got a really nice flashlight on the front. Yeah, I believe it switched on now. But here is a particularly important reason to have one of these in an emergency. It's got a USB port which means that you can actually use this to charge up your cell phone. This right here is an app for the iPhone. It's the U.S. Army Survival Guide. It's got huge amounts of information on how to deal with a wide variety of natural or unnatural disasters. There are other apps like this, too. I've got another one on here that comes from the American Heart Association. It's a complete first aid guide. Here's another app I especially wanted to point out. It's called Buddy Guard. You can push a button on it and it will send out a call for help to your friends and family. You have already programmed it with their phone numbers. At the same time, it takes pictures of wherever you are, and it records any audio that hits its microphone, and it sends that along with your call for help, so people will know what the situation is. Of course, in a really bad disaster, the cell phone service may go down. That's where this comes in. This is a spot satellite GPS messenger. It uses satellites orbiting in space to send out messages. You push this button, and it automatically sends a signal to an organization called GEOS, a worldwide organization that will take your location, figure out the nearest rescue or police agency, and call them to tell them to come get you. It costs $100 a year to subscribe to that service, plus the device itself is about $140. The spot satellite device is relatively expensive, but a lot of these electronic disaster aids are actually pretty cheap. In some cases, they're free, and they definitely work. Uh, I mentioned the first aid app, a man trapped in the Haitian earthquake of 2010 actually used one of those while he was buried alive for three days. He figured out how to make a tourniquet to keep himself from bleeding to death. He's alive today because he had this on his phone. You could one day find yourself in the same position. But fortunately, you've got plenty of time to get ready, and it's really not terribly difficult. So start now. From the Tech Lab, this is Hiawatha Bray.